We all know the Aggies have never made it past the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament before, but Athletic Director Scott Woodward believes Buzz is the man to take this program to infinity, or at least the Elite Eight and beyond. The two best words in sports are Game 7. That's non-negotiable, but we don't have professional sports here in the Brazos Valley, so the three best words for us are A&M versus Texas. The family ties and the coaching staff go well beyond just Jason JD. Coach's wife Christy runs the team's Twitter account, and their oldest son Jackson is the team's videographer. It can be lonely at the top of the standings, but I'm sure Sam Houston State men's basketball coach Jason Hooten is just fine with that as long as his team keeps winning. Oh, when you walk by and it's there, you just gotta pop one in and keep going. That's and why I ballooned up in my weight, I think, a little bit. Uh, you know someone else who ballooned up in weight? Who? Kiki Kingsley, that's because NFL that's scouts good. want him to get bigger to play on the outside in a 4-3 defensive scheme. We have a live report from the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. We also talked to the Notre Dame players about this possible home court advantage, and they all pretty much said the same thing. Yeah, it'll be great to have our fans packing the building, but we're more focused on stopping Kennedy Carter from dropping 30 points on us. If the Aggies wanted to reach the SEC championship, they'd have to pull off another upset and an even harder one. The only team standing between them and a spot in the finals is Georgia, the top-ranked team in the country. Well, earlier tonight, I had made the comment that you had rented space in my head because you made me mess up. That was on a thing that we posted on I'm social you media. Should, you should go look at RK. Yeah. So here's your official eviction, <laughs> eviction notice. <laughs> Eleven-year-old Jace is really good at basketball. It's his favorite thing to do. Go pass Kane! And it's also his part-time job. That's right, he's a coach. The longest tenured assistant coach in College Station High School basketball history. Get in there, Steve! Hey! Jace was only four years old when he asked Cougars coach J.D. Sullivan if he could help out. In other words, he asked his father to be part of the team. Sometimes we pick him up at his, uh, at his school to go on road trips. Uh, he, he goes overnight with us. He, he doesn't miss a game. Dad said sure, but his son had to look the part. So he went and asked his mom if, he would, if she would get him a coat and tie, and by the next game, he had a suit, and he was sitting on the bench. He's our kid. Every year, Jace becomes more involved in practice and in games. To bring out the dry race boards and the timeout or the end of the quarter and check the time at halftime so they're not late to the court. If it's a 30-second timeout, he gives me the small dry race board. As soon as we get to the bench, it gives me an opportunity to shake hands with all of the players coming off the court, uh, and it's ready for me when I get there. For the Sullivans, basketball is more than just a sport. It's part of who they are. We split, spend the majority of our lives in the gym. And if, if we don't have our kids on the bus with us and on the bench with us and in the gym with us at practice and at games, then we've missed a large portion of, of our life with them. One day, Jace wants to play for the Boston Celtics. But first, he'll have to play for his dad. I love the, the idea of getting to coach him at some point um, just because he's my son. Uh, but the better that he gets, the more enjoyable it's going to be. For now, though, it's like father, like son for the Sullivans. Out of boy, kid! Out of boy, kid! As the Cougars continue to look for the first basketball state championship in school history. Good job, Reagan! Out of boy, Reagan. The family ties and the coaching staff go well beyond just Jason JD. Coach's wife, Christy, runs the team's Twitter account, and their oldest son, Jackson, is the team's videographer. In College Station, Mike Lucas, CAG Sports. If Steph Curry and Klay Thompson are the Splash Brothers of the NBA, then Josh and Cameron Delaney are the Splash Brothers of the Southland Conference. Josh Delaney! It sounds right and it fits right, so I mean, I like it. The Twins have a combined 247 three-pointers in their Bearcats career, more than any other pair of brothers currently playing Division I ball. It's unbelievable, really, really a dream come true to making it here and doing the things that we're doing right now, it's just unbelievable. It's a blessing, actually. Josh ranks seventh in Sam Houston State history for most three-point makes. Delaney fires a three, good! But Cam is actually shooting a slightly better percentage from deep and has one more triple this season. So we had to ask, which brother is the better shooter? You know I gotta say I'm a better shooter than him. I feel like I have a better shot than him and I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold him to it. Me, always. <laughs> Thankfully, Coach Wooten was there to break the tie. I'm gonna have to say that uh, you know, Josh is one of the better shooters I've ever coached. You know, that's not to slight Cameron. The thing about Cameron is Cameron's a shot maker. One last name, two brothers specializing in the three-point shot. Three try up and good by Cameron Delaney. In Huntsville, Mike Lucas, CAG Sports.
TJ Starks starting in place of Chandler. Check out that move. He had double digits in this one. No points were prettier than those two, but what Starks takes, he also gives back. Cartier Diara steals the inbounds pass, and this dude can fly. Two hands for safety. K-State led by four points at halftime in the second, though. They started to turn around for the home team. Christian Mekawulu gets the lucky shot to drop off the top of the backboard. Savion Flag finds John Walker the third on the inbounds pass for the contested deuce. And then the Rockdale native took over. Wendell Mitchell from deep. Count all three of those. That shot tied the game up at 33 apiece. Mitchell now from the other wing. This three puts A&M ahead. But Mitchell is more than just a shooter, guys, in transition. No regard for human life. And the Aggies' high flyers were just getting started. Josh Starks drives, dishes off to Nebo, and you know what time it is. Hammer time. Nebo flushing it home. That gives the Aggies a seven-point lead. And finally, look my one hand. Starks with the exclamation point on the game. A&M, big win today. They snap a three-game slide with the 65-53 win.